say if anyone discovers a swarm of bees, uh, what should they do? Who are you gonna call? Swarm busters. Okay. Swarm busters. Okay. Oh, so today we're gonna go and catch a swarm with uh, Ben from Ben's Bees. And, um, is that the first swarm, dude? <laughs> Smell them. It's the first one of my life. Actually, that's the first time I'm gonna get a swarm with you. Yeah, is this it, is so it's cool. Two. So it is our first swarm. Yeah. But losing swarm virginity. Oh. In a weird way, that's <laughs> swarm virginity. <laughs> um, are you actually filming? I, I am. Oh, you are filming. This, I can't, this oh, I can't is the funny part. What they should do is, first of all, is don't panic. Because a lot of people panic because they go, bees, oh my god, I'm going to get swarmed, I'm going to die. Hi, Hello. Third thing is, always ring a beekeeper. Uh, obviously make sure there's no pets or children within the area. Just, obviously, it's a precautionary thing. Mmm, you smell them. That's a good size swarm of hay. Hi, it's Ben's from Ben's Bees. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, hey everyone, hey girls, Ben from Ben's Bees here. I'm here with Vanessa Mademoiselle, just down there. G'day. Hello. Um, it's uh, 10th of September. I call a beekeeper, so jump on a good old Google, good old Facebook, do a bit of a search, It'll take you probably under a minute and you'll find someone local. Uh, They're all following you. <laughs> You're making sure a cloud of bees. Um, and not an amateur, because amateur beekeepers, which is cool to get in the bees and so forth, and they're going to be excited with lots of enthusiasm, but they often will lack the experience. And... Wow. Can you, can you describe the smell? It smells sweet, floral, citrusy, um, like a slight earthiness to it. But it, it's just fragrant. Mm. It's just fragrant and it smell, smell, you know what it smells like? It smells like Mother Nature. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Mother Nature. Um, now it's not a free service because it's like any job, you know, I mean, we're all going to make money. So, uh, and it's a big job obviously with, with bees, you need to invest a lot of money in the boxes and frames and so forth. Uh, and the biggest issue obviously if there's a bee disease. So if there's a bee disease, that can affect uh, other hives and uh, the, hives have, the hives have to be euthanized. So um, always, always pay uh, big hit. It's number two today. Number two. Number two. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that I, I'm a bit of a lucky charm there? You are a lucky charm, coming all the way over from Adelaide and bringing the uh, bee vibes, bee swarming vibes, reproductive vibes. Wait. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Swarm number. Swarm number two. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I have a look at it. Oh yeah. Dear, dear. Oh, well, that was filming. Uh, I'm on the top of the uh, roof. I can fall down anytime I want. Here's Ben, he's gonna pass me stuff. I wanted to get on the roof, but Vanessa insisted that she gets on the roof. Oh, they're agitated, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's the size of them. We're not so happy, but make up to you. There you go. A big thank you to Ben from Ben's Bees. And don't forget, if you see a swarm, swarm. please don't call. Okay. <laughs>